Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about the life cycle of polytrichum. The life cycle is also known as alternation of generation because two generations will alternate among themselves and the two generations are known as gametophytic and sporophytic. Okay, polytrichum shows heteromorphic alternation of generation. Why it is known as heteromorphic? Hetero means different and morphic means morphological. Okay, that means we will get different morphological forms in the life cycle of polytrichum. Okay, and these different forms as we know earlier is the gametophyte and the sporophyte. Now, the plant body is gametophytic. We all know, right? The plant body is gametophytic and the gametophyte is a haploid. That means the gametophytic generation of polytrichum is a haploid generation. What will this gametophytic phase produce? It will develop antheridia and archegonia. The antheridia will produce enterozoites and the archegonium will produce egg. After that, there will be fertilization between the anthrozoids and the egg to produce a diploid structure known as oospore. Okay? As the oospore or zygote is formed, the gametophytic phase ends and the sporophytic phase begins. So we can say that the oospore or the zygote is the first stage of sporophytic generation. Now, since the oospore is diploid, that means the sporophytic generation is a diploid generation. Okay, the sporophyte has three parts, foot, seta and capsule. The capsule will produce spores, the spores are haploid, yes, and with the formation of haploid spores, the sporophytic phase will end and the gametophytic phase will begin. That means we can say that spore is the first stage of the gametophytic generation. These spores will germinate to produce protonema okay and the protonema will develop into mature gametophyte and thus it will complete the life cycle of protonema so we can say, see in this diagram here the g is indicated as gametophytic phase and the s is indicated as a sporophytic phase what will happen is that suppose we come up with the sporophytic okay the zygote is formed okay <coughs> or let's begin with these plants the gametophytic one okay there will be two plants since the polytrichum is dioecious we'll get separate male and female plant okay this is a female plant it will produce archegonium it is the male plant it is produced it will produce antheridium antheridium will produce uh, the sperms or enterozoites and the archegonium will produce egg enterozoites and egg will fertilize and it will produce a diploid zygote okay with the formation of zygote, there is the beginning of sporophytic generation. Okay, now what will happen? The zygote will develop into an embryo. Embryo will develop into a sporophyte. Okay, and the sporophyte will produce spores. With the formation of spores, the sporophytic phase ends. The spores will be liberated. Okay, and they will germinate to produce protonema. Okay. Now, they will they have germinated and they have produced these structures known as protonema. The protonema will mature to form gametophytes and the cycle will continue this way. So, we can say that the spore is the beginning of gametophytic generation and the zygote is the beginning of the sporophytic generation. Since there is two morphological forms, okay, one is the gametophytic, other is the sporophytic, and these two forms alternate among themselves to complete the life cycle. Therefore, polytrichum is known to have a heteromorphic alternation of generation. And students, with this video, we have come to the end of polytrichum. I hope you all like it. And uh, if you like it, then please subscribe to my channel. And in the next video, I will come up with a different genus of bryophyta. Up till then, good luck. Thank you.